Kia ora singers and teachers, this exercise gets our tamariki, our children singing in their chest voice or in their singing voice, their high register of their voice um, without even knowing it. So it's a fun little game and it's called Can You Do The Funky Chicken? So uh, before I start this, I say to the students, I'm going to use my voice in a different way. It might sound a bit strange or a bit silly, but I'd like you to copy me. Can you do this after me? Oh, hello. And they'll repeat. What about, how are you today? How are you today? Wonderful. So can you repeat after me? What's that you say? What's that you say? And what I would do is I'll make sure they're using that sound, that they're mimicking the sound. They're not just using their speaking voice. Okay, so I'm going to say a phrase and you're going to respond with, what's that you say? Okay, here it goes. Can you do the funky chicken? What's that you say? I said, can you do the funky chicken? What's that you say? hot potato what's that you say i said can you do the hot potato what's that you say <laughs> can you do the surfing moose what's that you say can you do the surfing moose what's that you say <laughs> Can you do the singing goldfish? Watch that, you say. Can you do the singing goldfish? Watch that, you say. And that's the activity. So it might sound silly, but we're actually, there's a reason behind it. We're getting the kids to sing up in that higher range and access that um, <clears throat> that singing or the, the chest voice range. So after that, I would go on to um, some vocal, uh, more kind of conventional vocal activities. Have fun with that. Just stick with that for, for a while if you have a new choir and get them to have fun with that. And um, yeah, enjoy.